If you are leading projects or managing operations, then you already know one thing. Risks are everywhere. And when those risks aren't properly tracked, they quietly grow until they explode into major problems that cost you time, money, and sometimes even your peace of mind. Now listen, over the past couple decades, I've worked with hundreds of operations leads and project managers, you know, people just like you. And here's what I've seen over and over again. It's that most people track and manage risks the wrong way. They use spreadsheets. That means it's gonna be messy, it's gonna be over overwhelming and eventually it's going to cost them their results and their sanity and that's why i'm giving you this lesson for free and so you can see how simple powerful and valuable it can be to get this right especially if this is your first time managing risks now listen in the course i'm going to walk you through how to build and manage a risk register without risking your sanity a risk register that you can confidently use every day across your projects your operations and your team workflows without losing your mind in the process now let's go sphd productions is is an event planning company. And what we're trying to do is have a throwback Thursday fest, two days, right? Where we invite 90s hip hop artists from all over the place, whatever they got going on, we want 90s hip hop artists to come and do their classic hits over two days at the throwback Thursday fest. This is a massive project. We're an event planning company, so we're gonna talk to some venues, talk to the artists, make sure we look and see what's going on with the weather, all kinds of things. There's a lot of moving pieces here that can cause a lot of risk. So what we're gonna do is create a risk register to manage all of this. Now, when a new project comes about, what I recommend you do is create a Microsoft team, which you probably already do. But what you might not know is that when you create that Microsoft team, on the other side of that Microsoft team is a SharePoint site. What we're gonna do is create a Microsoft team for this festival, for this big project to put on this festival. And then on the corresponding, on the back end side of that Microsoft team, we're gonna have a SharePoint site. It's on that SharePoint site where we're gonna put all of our assets, but mainly the risk register. We're going to create the risk register on that site. Let's hop into the computer. Okay, so we're in Microsoft Teams right now. We're going to hit create team. We're going to give our team a name, Throwback Thursday Festival 2024, and we're going to give it a description. This team will hold all the assets for the first ever Throwback Thursday Festival. Then you can keep it private, or if you click private, you can make it org wide or public. You know, like I said, keep it private. These are the choices that you see today. They might change in the future with Microsoft, so I'm not necessarily going to go into the details of what you need to pick here, you would actually know, should this be an org wide thing because all of your projects are open? Should it be public so that you can have anyone join or does it need to be private? So we'll hit create. And now our team, the Throwback Thursday Festival 2024 has been created. All right, now we are going to take a look at the corresponding SharePoint site. Very easy to do. If you go to the file section of your new team, Throwback Thursday Festival 2024, go to the file section. It might take a little bit to load up because you just created a team. As you can see, mine is doing. Once it loads, you'll see all of your options here. You haven't uploaded any documents yet, so this library is obviously empty. What you're gonna do is click on open in SharePoint. So we're here, you can see Throwback Thursday Festival 24, that's the name of the site. You can see a team icon because that points us back to the Microsoft Teams channel. You can see up here in the URL, Throwback Thursday Festival 24, that is the name of the site without spaces. And then you have some options over here too. I'm gonna close this panel. You can see again, documents general, you go back to the team site, documents general. It is the same library. If you upload something here, it's automatically gonna show here and the same is true if you upload it here it'll automatically show in teams in the full risk register course i go even deeper you'll get the complete framework real life examples advanced tracking strategies and practical walkthroughs to help you build a system that you can trust on every project if you're serious about managing your risks the right way with clarity confidence and control the full course is where it happens click the link below to get instant access to the full risk register course i can't wait to see you on the inside so what we want to do is visit the home page of this sharepoint team site as of today Today, you'll notice this is what is on your home page. What we can do is click new to add a list. We're gonna create a risk register using this feature, SharePoint list. That's what we'll do next. Okay, so before we get started building our list, let me tell you what columns are actually gonna be in the list. So we're gonna have a risk column. That's where you enter the actual name of the risk risk details those are going to be the details of the risk so you know you get to give a little bit more description go into further detail risk 
category is going to be a choice field, and that's going to have these choices, operational, budget, technical, or schedule. Probability and severity are also going to be choice fields, and these are those choices. Very likely, likely, possible, unlikely, very unlikely, severe, major, significant, minor, insignificant. Probability number, severity number, and score are all going to be calculated columns. You can put little pieces of code inside of a calculated column to make that column behave a little bit differently than normal columns. Just like in Excel, where you could put in little pieces of code and have your column do certain things, this is the same thing except we do it in the SharePoint. Strategy is going to be a choice column and the choices are going to be mitigate, transfer, accept, or avoid. Basically, you know, how are we going to approach this risk? And then mitigation is going to be a multiple line of text field. And I'll explain this further when we get to it. But the mitigation is basically the details on how you're going to mitigate your risk. The owner is a person field. So this is a list. This field can show everyone inside of your organization and then it just allows you to pick the name. This is better than trying to type someone's name, misspell spelling it, all that type of stuff. You just simply type an email address or a first name or, or last name and the field will start to filter and then you can find your person and pick them. You'll, you'll understand more as I show it to you. The review date is going to be a date and then you're going to have risk ID created, created by, modified and modified by, but these are all SharePoint system columns. In other words, they automatically come with a list when you create a new list. They capture information on their own. You don't have to enter any risk ID numbers or who created the risk or when it was created or when it was last modified. All of that is tracked by SharePoint in these columns. And I'll show you more as we get into the video. Okay, now you've seen how a simple, well-managed risk register can completely change the way you lead your projects. You've seen that it doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be overwhelming, and it definitely does not have to cost you your peace of mind, the most important thing. But this is just the beginning. In the full risk register course, I go even deeper. You'll get the complete framework, real life examples, advanced tracking strategies, and practical walkthroughs to help you build a system that you can trust on every project. If you're Serious about managing your risks the right way with clarity, confidence, and control, the full course is where it happens. Click the link below to get instant access to the full risk register course. I can't wait to see you on the inside.